what I made. This is a miniature Bluetooth controlled tank. It's, it can do some really cool things for its size, like going up some steep slopes and going over some uh, very rough obstacles. Uh, this project took around three months for me to complete and uh, it took three different prototypes until I finally got a neat looking and well functioning design. So I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, and one more thing. This is my first YouTube video, so it might not be the best in terms of production quality. So I do want you guys to like leave a comment about what I can do better in the future. So hopefully my videos keep on improving. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that you always do in robotics is test your circuit. So this thing set up is uh, here is called a breadboard, which is the uh, white bit. And um, basically you can easily place your components basically like Lego, just push them in. And um, this circuit going on over here is uh, testing the HC05 Bluetooth module. Um, and I was just testing if I can send commands from my phone and receive them on the Arduino. And um, I use the Arduino Nano because obviously it's one of the smallest ones and it's easy to use. Now the next thing I did was uh, go straight to uh, soldering on the prototyping board. In previous prototypes I uh, used like breadboards and stuff but obviously it's really, those are really huge. So I'm using this because it's a lot uh, neater and flat and um, yeah just easier to use. And uh, I also tested the motor controlling circuit before this that's why I didn't need to do it now. Now these blue things right here are called servo motors. They're small and really powerful and cheap, which is why I'm using them. And uh, basically out of the box, they only rotate from 0 to 180 degrees. But there is a way to hack them, which is exactly what I'm doing here. So I just opened them up, which took a long time to find the perfect screw. And uh, then basically with this gear, there's like a little plastic bit that stops it from rotating uh, all the way through. So I basically just took that off. Now the camera isn't focusing too well here, but I think you can just see. And then I basically just ripped apart, uh, apart the other electronics inside that prevent it from going full 360. Now I know some of you who know about electronics might be like, oh no, I mean you can use that as a motor controller. But uh, I did try to do that, but I failed. So um, I just, for consistency, I just uh, ripped it apart. Uh, but next time I'll try to be more careful and try to get that working and I basically just soldered the wires onto this Now the next thing I did which uh, was Connecting the Lego tank treads and wheels to the servo motor So I basically got some hot glue with my really messy hot glue gun and I just clipped the servo arms which uh, you get with the servo motors and it was basically a perfect fit so I proceeded to do that with two of them and I have two free spinning ones for a nice tank system which can easily turn both directions. And I also put a bit of hot glue in the middle uh, to the part where it attaches onto the servo so it's more stable. Now I got, I found this random piece of like plasticky cardboard which I cut to the right size with this $2 shop knife. And basically I cut out two of these pieces, uh, one for under the motors, one for on top. I just trimmed it with a knife just to make the edges look more neat. Then I hot glued the motors and uh, the free spinning wheels to the mounts. After putting on the top, I just stuck the uh, PCB with a bit of blue tack, which is holding it together all right. And I made sure that with the servo motors, you can just plug them in just in case anything goes wrong and just uh, for emergency purposes because I don't actually have an on and off button. And um, another thing is I don't have the right uh, components for the battery at this time, but in the future I might order them just so that it doesn't need to be connected to a power bank at all times. Um, yeah, so basically I had this like small 5 volt power bank that was powering it through the USB. But uh, in the future, I'll get a small battery for it. So this is on my phone. I have this app and it, uh, basically it's got like a forward, backward, left, right button. So this was my first testing bit. 
So I was testing it against different slopes. And here's the first one. And as you can see, it can move in all directions pretty well. And now it is slow, but trust me, it's got some really good grip. Then I decided to use my computer and just uh, changing the rotation of the lid, which was a genius idea. Now it basically just flips over. So I was thinking that uh, maybe I should add some weight to the front of it so it stays down. So I just use some coins and just blue tack them to the front. And it was able to go up this slope even, which was I think more than 45 degrees. But then with this one, it just tipped over. But I think if I had um, like the battery, which would be heavier near the base, so it will have a lower center of gravity, uh, it would have worked out better. Now I'm testing it outdoors. Alright, that was a very well done project and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I already have some ideas of what I can do next time, like I could add a gun to it or like a claw or something, but I want you guys to, in the comments below to give me ideas of uh, what to do in the future and um, you know, go as crazy as you want because then uh, I can get the best idea. And in terms of the video, I'm quite happy with how it came out, but after watching it, uh, I already can see some things I can improve. But uh, with that also, I want you guys to give me suggestions of what I can do better next time. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time.